welcome back to profit club now in today's video i'm going to show you how you can set up your very own order like a merchant in binance b2b anywhere you are in the world now uh, a lot of time when you go to uh, the market to sell your crypto or maybe on the binance b2b you discover that uh, the uh, the merchant may be negotiating a price of which he will be charging from it basically mostly in nigeria when you're in nigeria in the binance p2p you want to sell your cryptocurrency on the market you click on an ad the merchant begin to tell you that he charge you 100 dollar per transaction uh, sorry 100 naira for a transaction and you can negotiate with him for 18 naira or so now it, they are making a lot of money from that depending on how many let's say maybe a lot of people are doing that but also yeah you can still earn from that all you need to do is make your own different from other people and i'm going to be showing you how you can do that very simply now you don't need to have maybe one thousand dollars in your binance uh application before you can apply to be a binance a merchant also no you don't even need to apply for a binance merchant you can set up your own ads and get people rushing at it every day on daily basis and you can be making your 100 100 naira per transaction a day you can a day you can make three thousand you can make two thousand depending on how good you are in the market and how uh, many people are ready to buy your uh crypto from you all right so uh like i said there are certain things you need to put into consideration why uh, on the binance uh, p2p market now you need to take note of the limit at times you may be buying uh, you, may, you may see an ad, the ads that are there may be at 1000 to 1001 then you should set your own, you should extend the limit of your own maybe you should put a, a very good price now people really appreciate those uh, little cents uh, like should I call it, that those little uh, zero point uh, something kubo at the end of every price now let's take for instance maybe you are setting your order, the order there, the price order there is at 5 current black market rate in nigeria is currently at 5.91 uh, uh, naira per dollar you can set yours at uh, 5.92 now it gives them they look at it and they see it's an opportunity for them to make extra thinking they'll make extra money or you can set yours at 5.96 or even 5.9 uh nine five nine nine yeah almost one dollar to six hundred because currently as i'm making this video the uh the nera to a usdt is currently at 596 so you can put yours as 599 or 598 to enable people uh think that yes they are going to make a lot of cash when they buy from you so they should buy from you and also you need to extend your limit you need to extend your limit like take for instance now in the binance market people who are selling there maybe at the top ads you the, the first price you're seeing maybe it's at five nine six and but that person doesn't sell more than two thousand naira to people you can extend your own and sell more than three thousand naira there are people who wants to buy with that price but they want to buy uh, more in the 3,000, 5,000 you can extend yours and it will enable people to use your ad instead of using the other person ad or the real merchant ad yes that works as well and I'll be showing you how you can do that as well how you can take uh, every single chances of making people click on your ads and making you earn more every day now you can do that so many times every day you can once you sell you can buy back and then uh, you can sell as well again note that when you are buying there is no uh, there's no there's not always a charge included in it aha uh -huh. not all the ads have to charge you for that it only charges or may always come when you're selling out so you can buy back and sell out as many times as possible every day and earn extra income for yourself very well so i'll be showing you how you can do all that and how you can take advantage of all the uh, all the opportunities that are there in the market to capitalize on and make your own ads different from the merchant ads there so that people can uh, click on it more and then buy from you it enables you earn more cash that's the essence of this channel all right so uh, let me take you right on my phone now and show you how you can do that now if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button before we get to my phone and uh click the notification bell also you can uh, hit the like button if you already like the content you're watching now but if you don't you can exercise patient as we go into the video and then maybe when you find time you can just simply like the video i really appreciate that it helps youtube algorithm a lot all right so let's move on to my phone now and i'll show you how you can set a binance 
ads without having to be a Binance merchant on the P2P market. So let's go ahead with that. All right, so here we are right on our Binance application. Now there's only, the only thing you need on your Binance app is to make sure that your Binance application is verified up to KYC level. So once you have verified your KYC level on your Binance app, then you are set to go. You can start making money from Binance application. Now it's going to be fun. So I'm going to show you how you can do that easily with just three easy steps. But you need to take note of some things which I'm also going to be showing you that as well so right now you just want to go ahead and click on the p2p tab right here you can see beside the deposit nera you can see p2p tab now for in case your interface is not like this maybe you are just creating the binance application new and you just log in you may meet up something like this let me show you that it may be in form of uh like this so you may meet it like this at the binance light mode now you don't need to panic once it's like this all you need to do is to change it by simply clicking on the profile icon right at the top then you switch off the binance light with this drag over here that's at the yellow right here the drag right here simply change that right there now once you click on that it automatically change to the professional interface now you can see the tab now looks uh, like this you can see the deposit beside the p2p trading now you go straight ahead and click on the p2p trade once you click on the p2p trade like this it opens the p2p tab for you where you can see the buy tab and the sell tab now in the buy tab is where you uh, see the, those order of people who have uh, crypto in their wallet and they are willing to sell to you so you are the buyer you are buying from them that's why it's a buy tab for you all right and at the sell tab right over here you can see those people who are willing to buy from you now it's a sell tab to you because you are selling to these people i hope that's understandable so since you are selling to these people it becomes a sell tab to you and then they are buying for you so it's a buy order to them and it's a sell tab to you now i'm going to teach you how you can set up your own buy or sell order but before that there are things you need to take note of while in the p2p market one thing is the volume of trade which is this right here you can see that the trade the amount of trade this person the owner of this order has been placing now this tab, this order may be restricted due to some reasons maybe by binance and it's restricted now i'm still showing you what you need to take note of is the number of trade this person has done now this guy has 790 trade which is fair enough and also his percentage right here his percentage may be the way his trade services are being graded and also the amount of uh, maybe accurate trades he has his percentage on accuracy on trading p2p market now he has 92 trades that's fair enough in fact that's good also you can see that from other places now let's okay this guy's order which is not restricted you can see he has 598 trades and his percentage is at 83 it's still fair enough to do trade with him the next one there you can see he has 300 trades and uh 85 percent also very safe same thing in the sell order also the next thing you need to take note of is the amount of crypto this guy has to sell he may not be ready to sell all but the amount he has to sell is uh, very necessary to also to note down also his limit he's selling very important as well the limit he's selling up to now we can see this guy is selling from 5000 to 50000 59000 so if you are buying more than 59000 this guy cannot sell to you or he won't sell to you so your if you are buying around 60000 no it won't go the 59,965,011 or 11 Kobo is what he's selling at the most. Alright, I hope that is understandable. So you need to take note of that as well. And also you need to take note of the payment option, which you can see down as bank transfer. Now many people may not may accept other payment method depending on which way you want to buy the crypto you are the buyer so you determine those you are buying from and which payment option they are using and which one is best for you so if you want other payment option you can keep searching and you will find someone who accept other means of payment let's check for someone like that
all right uh okay without me wasting much time let's just move on since we haven't seen but if you keep searching you can get to uh someone that has other payment uh, method in store all right so or else you can simply filter for payment options you want now if you click on the filter button let me show you that if you simply click on the filter button it's made easy by clicking on the filter button for available payment method now in nigeria these are all the payment methods available you have bank transfer you have cheaper cash you have a transfer with special bank you have go money and also you have a, a cash deposit it's still the same all right so then uh aside payment option now we have taken note of basically all the things now remain one also is that you take note of the available peers on the p2p market you can't trade more than these on the p2p these are the available trades you can place order on the p2p market currently now so the next thing you want to do is that you want to go on and place an order by clicking on this uh, at the bottom if you and if you look at the bottom of your screen you can see where there is the home page the other page the ads and the profile now yours may not be like this if you are doing this for the first time okay you may see something like this let me go back and show you this all right so you may see something like this and if you see something like this then uh you have to change it to the ad mode what they call advertisement mode and i'll be showing you how you can do that all right just uh we were looking for something now you can see this guy now his trade is new in the market he sells for people who are willing to buy just 1000 and 2000 to 2000 naira, and he accepts cheaper cash as another payment option that was what we were looking for to show you other payment method now that's how it looks now you want to change it to an advertisement mode so you can set your very own ads with your terms and condition and every other thing so you can make profit for yourself now you simply go by clicking on the three dots at the top you can see that right here this right here this is the three dot right at the top if you click on that it brings out a drop down and you select add mode which is the last option once you click on it it brings out a, an interface for you to confirm you confirm that and yes you are in the add mode now from the add mode now you go straight ahead and click on ads like i have showed you from the home page you can see the home page the other page the ads and the profile you click on ads once you click on ads it takes you to the ads tab where you can add your own tab now you can simply click on the plus button at the top or click on the post ad right here you click on that it's open now we are in the three basic steps you need to post your very own advert it's very simple as simple as this now you want to consider first whether you are setting a buy or a sell order now if you're setting a buy order it means you want to buy usdt now this means that you have a money in your bank account and you want to buy usdt if you are selling it means that you have a crypto you want to sell and you're selling it and your money will should be transferred to your bank account okay so if you if you are placing a buy order it will look to other people as a sell order so they sell their crypto to you and you uh, transfer money to their bank account but if you are using a sell order to them it will be as a buy order because they will be buying your crypto from you i hope that is understandable so the next thing aside that okay let's say we want to use a buy order now we are on the buy tab then we want to select the the currency we want to use which is the asset we want to acquire we want to buy from people now we set in usdt it's already there these are the available coin like i have showed you then you have bitcoin busd bnb ethereum the die and also the N the ngn which is the naira now we select the usdt and the currency we want to use now if you are in other country you can use other countries currency as well if you have an application that accept dollar let's say you want to accept transfer wise or netella or screw you have those accounts you can then use usdt euros or any other currency you want to use yes you can do that from nigeria here uh then let's go ahead and select the naira once you select your naira then it brings you the uh, highest limit you can set uh currently in the market once you are using a fixed price now if you are using a fixed price it means that 
this is the exact price you want the market to uh, remain for you now when, whichever price you enter at this box is what you will be selling all your you is what you will be sorry you will be buying all the crypto from people that is what your sell order with your order as a sell order is looking at to people that is the price there it will be a fixed price it won't be changed but if you use the floating price it will float at a given percentage of how the market works now if you put a higher floating a percentage it floats quickly uh, relating with the market all right so if you want your ads to appear at the top or at the front page or the first or second ads you must make sure that you are putting a price a very uh, high price to buy people's crypto now let's take for instance the highest there the higher there they say is 599.70 you can put that exact price although even if you put a little bit more than that to draw customer yes it will still be accepted and you can still do that so what we are going to do here is to put the exact price which is the highest price here so that our ad will be at the top 599.70 so if we are putting this order uh if if this is the highest order it means that other people as well must have an order like this so what makes our own stand out from their own to make sure that yes people will mostly click on ours rather than clicking on that i'm going to show you that as well now after this you want to click on what next which is right here you click on next once you click on next it loads out the third place now in the third place you have to um, uh enter the amount of uh, usdt you can buy you can buy from people that is, people who are ready to sell their usdt the amount uh, as many usdt as you can buy is what you are entering in the first tab now let's say we have potential to buy exactly 100 usdt now if you have potential to buy exactly 100 usdt you must have up to uh this amount of in your wallet you can see the equivalent here in nera you must have this also in your bank account so that you can exactly transfer it immediately now this is the price 59 700 59,900 and 700 naira exactly you must have that in your bank account so that you can immediately do the transfer for the person once your ads is clicked on all right so the next thing there is that we want to uh look at the limit we are willing to buy from like what limit can someone sell to you should it be selling just 1000 naira upward of from 5000 naira you are willing to buy up to uh 750000 naira so let's reduce that so that because there are, there are most smaller traders in the market that may be willing to buy a uh, form you if you are selling in a small range so let's put that minimum limit you can buy from in binance application as a whole is 1 thousand nera in nera so this is the limit here you can buy so long as you're using nera this is the limit you can buy the smallest amount you can buy to any other amount of your choice now let's put in as small as this because the, if you take note of the market now there are people there are more smaller traders willing to sell those their usdt and you can use that as well to buy also it's an advantage to keep using smaller range so that uh, you can sell as many times in the market now let's say we want we have 100 usdt and we are selling just from 1000 to 1001 1000 to 1001 that enables us make plenty trades a day it's the number one uh, idea you can use to capitalize in the market so it gives you opportunity to make plenty trades and uh, which means you have plenty profit to be made from a lot of trades I hope we understand that so now the next thing we want to do right here is to click on next we click on the next button now once we click on the next button it takes us to the final phase now where you put in your terms and uh, your condition and also your auto reply message okay they are both optional but you can put them like now in the terms and condition you can put in this is where you, you, you want to put in your terms 
you tell the person all right uh you are online and available to do business you accept third party now if you are telling them you accept third party this will enable you uh this will enable you make yours different now most people in their terms and conditions they don't accept third party but once you say you accept third party in your terms and condition whether you're selling or you're buying it makes your own ads are different from them now it, this means that if you are to uh be using to be doing a sell order where people have to transfer the money to you it means that they can use a third party bank account to transfer that money for you it makes yours different just like i have said okay and more people now many people now are buying the uh binance account which may not be theirs and also they are looking for those merchants that accept third party which they can make transfer from their own account which is not on binance and then to the person's account yeah and it works fine like that so you can put that option there if you are sending but since we are buying crypto and we will be the one sending the money i think no need for that uh terms and condition but you can put it there so that you can as well save it for your order if you are using a sell order very well then so the terms and condition we will just put is simply we charge 100 naira which will be our profit you can just put in i will be charging 100 naira this type proceed if you accept so you pay then that will be all then also you come down now right here you can see the terms and condition if you want to put in any terms and condition for like for people to uh people who you want to trade with the terms they must meet up to for them to be able to trade with you now you don't need to put in all uh terms and condition all the terms and condition just leave at the completion of a kyc verification which binance made very necessary so as you can see now i can't uh click on that k um complete completed kyc verification because it must be it's a compulsory uh condition that everyone must have done before doing this okay so i can only add up a uh, registered so it must be registered or i can uh add up at uh, the it must be holding more than uh one zero point zero one bitcoin in his wallet before he can trade with me but i don't need all that i'm okay with anybody that has just completed kyc verification so i go on and put in online or offline do i want the ads to be published now or to be published uh maybe later maybe i'm offline now maybe the publish the i'll publish the ads online manually or i want it to go online now if it goes online now it will automatically appear immediately and somebody may immediately click on your order right away okay so if you are using the online now make sure that you're expecting that as you are posting it now someone should click on it immediately because it will be going right at the top and there is always people looking at the market which are waiting for every order so once i click on proceed this is, it's online i click on pop i click on post now now my ads has successfully been posted. that's all you need now i just need to wait to receive a notification from binance that my ad has been clicked on and i will and i will transfer to the market i will transfer to it to the uh to the buyer and he will release the crypto to my wallet all right so in case if you want your or uh, your your order maybe let's say it's getting tonight or you want to sleep you want to rest you want to go offline you can simply come over here and switch off your order and later on you can earn it back like this once you're here at your order book now you can see that i have one order uh, currently now before i was having no order but now i have an order set up now so i can make the order become an offline order by simply clicking right here and it will be an offline order I don't know if you understand now you can do this when you are going offline so that people don't have to click on your ads and start waiting for you it's at, at times it makes people get a uh, very obsessed with you because they may need the money and just click on your ads your ads is on why will you leave your ads on when you are not online it's not fair enough to do that so whenever you're going offline try as much as possible to uh, switch off your ads offline all right then once you are on you simply click on it and it's 
back online and that's all you need whenever you're online you simply switch it on and whenever you're offline you simply switch it off so that should be all for you setting an ad let's go back home let's try as much as let's try to search for our ads and see if it's we if it is published or let's see okay so you can see right now someone has placed an order so someone has placed an order let's go and check if he agrees with my terms and conditions just like i told you that someone can as well do that immediately so let's go and see if he agrees with the terms and condition all right let me simply uh chat with him now i click on the chat you can see where i'm clicking on right here let me show you this right here all right so i simply click on that to chat with the person and let's see what he said okay he said i should proceed I, let me still tell him again say i i charge 100 naira Should I proceed? Alright, so let's wait for his response. Let's see what his response will be. I need to respond uh, pretty fast because the time is almost... Okay, it's at 13 minutes. So he still have time. Let's see what he says. Alright, so that's that for that video. I really hope you enjoyed the video and also you learned a lot from that video. And I hope that you will be setting your very own ads on Binance. That will enable you to earn maybe little income for yourself. It's very good. Actually, it's profitable as well. You can do that. Like I told you, all you need to do is to make sure that your own ads stand out from other people's own. Now, once you stand out, it enables more buyers and most or more sellers to click on your own ads and to trade with you and also you can tell them to always leave a positive note in your content you write in your thumbs or your your chat with them you can write down to leave a positive note guys to remind them to leave positive response and also make sure that you respond to them quickly so that they will be encouraged to leave positive note for you and once that happens and you are getting a lot of positive binance will keep promoting your ads it, it helps a lot so you should give that a try so if you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel i'd like to tell you to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you get notified when more profitable content like this is being provided to you and also you can do this from a lot of other trading application so that's why you need to stay tuned so that whenever uh, there's an opportunity in other application to trade and make profit you will be notified that so click the notification bell as well so you get notified for that and you can if you have any question you can leave a comment down below at the description box i will be responding to that and also you can join our group on telegram or whatsapp the group is right there the link to the group is also in the description box so join us there so you can get more information on how you can make profit from the market so thank you very much for watching this video uh, peace.